This is Joey Valdez here for Diversity News at the 25th Annual Miss Asia USA. And I'm here with Joey Galan, right? Yes, and you know, you've got the best name in the world, I have to say. Joey and Joey here. It's such an unusual name, isn't it? It is an unusual name. It's a great name, too. So I guess that makes us Joey Squared, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. What's, what brings you out tonight? Of course. Well, I'm honored to be invited as one of the judges here for tonight, one of the official judges for both Miss and Mrs. Um, I live in Las Vegas. I'm a pageant coach. I've been in the pageant industry for over 30 years, working with all of the international pageants and local. Prior to this, tonight's event, I was the official pageant coach for almost three years in a row for Miss and Mrs. Asia USA, and tonight I've been invited as a judge. So, looking forward to this 25th anniversary pageant and uh, to meet the delegates for tonight. What are some of the requirements to be a pageant coach? Uh, um, pageant coach, well, really, it's, it's, it's empowering the young women to be their best. So, from interview to styling to walking in heels to everything pageant. But also, too, I've been in the industry for as long as I have because they can take these skills and tools way beyond the pageant system. So, they can take it for professional or personal, and they really can just get catapulted into the social market. So, I think that I think it's the best personal development uh, opportunity for women, bar none. What are some of the obstacles that you see these young women that have, have to be overcome? Well, you know what? All the months and the time that it takes to prepare them for tonight, it doesn't matter what pageant. It's grace under pressure. So I may know some of the contestants as a coach, but all the, the true reveal is the actual pageant night and how they can hold themselves, carry themselves um, under pressure uh, or they're confident, or they lose themselves, or they're just on point and having a good time. It's really hard to tell what happens the night of. Never let them see you sweat, right? Never let them see you sweat. And, you know, and I, 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 I've got pageant, I've called them my pageant daughters. They're all over the world. I'm proud of them. I've seen them as national anchor women, the business owners, doctors, lawyers. And I think this is just one of the stepping stones to get them to that spot, get them to, to that goal and dream fulfilled. And I'm just glad to be a part of that. So, What is it that you look in a contestant? Um, definitely a sense of confidence. Definitely the oper just having a good time with themselves on stage because I think when they are 100% are with who they are and having a great time, I think the audience and judges feel that. You know, it's one thing seeing a physically beautiful person, but if they don't have that charisma and if they're not projecting on stage and the audience doesn't feel it, I think that that really indicates the potential winner or not. So... <laughs> so what, what advice do you have for all those young women looking at us out there who look forward to being you know, a pageant contestant one of these days? You know what, if you're afraid to be in a pageant and you, you're just already written it off and said, no, I'm not going to do anything like that because you're afraid, then that's something to look at is face your fears. Because I think that once you get past that and once you get involved, there are definitely life skills that you can take on way beyond the pageant career. So I think that it, it's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. There's so many wonderful pageants, especially the Miss and Mrs. Asia USA. And, and great doors can open as well as a benefit. Is there anybody in particular that comes to mind that really just went above and beyond, you know, uh, and became a winner? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I've coached a lot of them in the, in the past three years, so absolutely. I mean, I've looked at many of them and I've got to know them for three months in a row prior to their actual competition night. So, again, they were consistent all the way through, including pageant night. And I think that they really shined on stage. They were just kind of a, an enhanced version of what I've got to meet them three months prior. So, I think there's a lot of consistency sometimes, too, you know, with the ones that win. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Joe. Thanks, it was Joey. a pleasure. So great to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> That's my name. Don't worry it out. <laughs>